Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to communicate with an NV10 USB Plus and an Arduino. Uh, these are used to accept notes in any part of your projects. Uh, this one is uh, supplied by Innovative Technology. Um, it's currently set up as a serial input outer, output interface that was done at a factory. I ordered this brand new from them. Um, be careful if you do want to use one of these because there's plenty of old ones on the eBay and such with uh, dip switches here. The new ones, it's called NV10 USB Plus and it doesn't have any uh, dip switches. Here you've got one programming button. Here you can see the pins, the pin header. Uh, you've got one, two, you've got 16 pins there. That's where you connect up to uh, communicate for power and uh, different interfaces. Uh, you can set up different interfaces with this but the easiest I find is using Serial. Uh, the company make these don't recommend it uh, simply because it's not uh, it's not secure, it's not protected, and it's easy uh, hackable. Um, so if there's a look, I split it apart, I'll show you inside. So it splits apart in half here and also this bezel comes off. It's brilliant because this bezel could be fitted in a panel on your project. And that could be left then if you ever want to take this out, replace it or clean it, it just clips on and off the bezel. Uh, this is also illuminated. I think the new one um, shows error codes through different flashing methods, but also it's illuminated when it's enabled. And not illuminated when it's disabled. Um, so you've got the belt system that takes the notes in. Let's up have a look in. And if you can see, but it's really, really well made, all shiny or brand new. Really smart technology and so easy to use the Arduino. I'll show you the code afterwards. First of all, let's get it wired up and then we'll go from there. Okay, so now I've got it wired up. I've got uh, TX of the note receptor going to my RX of Arduino. And the RX of the node receptor is going to my TX of the Arduino, the serial port 3. Um, they've got common ground here, she's been shared. And 24 volts in, it's going straight to the node acceptor. Um, right, so let's get the Arduino plugged in and I'll show you the code. So I've got the acceptor all wired up, I've got the Arduino with a program in. I've uh, got some money here, got some Wongo ready to test. I've got the COM port here and I'll show you exactly what's being spat out by the acceptor. Uh, I'll show you what the uh, program does. And uh, I'll try to explain to you a little uh, little trick called escrow. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry if it isn't. Um, right, so I'll open the COM port. So first of all, I'll power up the receptor. Hear a little boot up noise there. Now I'll open up the COM port. Okay, so, so as you can see in the terminal window here, um, ignore these stars. This, I N minus. Uh, this just uh, this just represents that I've had a 184 back from the uh, coin acceptor. So what these numbers mean is in the code I've uh, written some initial values to enable it and to turn on the escrow mode, and then the acceptor writes them back to me. So it's a bit like repeating. So it's uh, it's it's good to program uh, some sort of check in to see that if whatever you've sent has come back. Make sure the connection is correct and it is working. Okay, so now we should be able to put some money in and give it a go. So let's put a tempo note up here. So now you can see that the escrow it's it's, it's held in the acceptor there. Uh, you can also see in the terminal window it's telling me ten pound in escrow. Would you like to accept it? So I put a capital Y to yes, and I've just chucked out the back. Uh, and you can see there in the uh, monitor, it's showing me I got uh, £10 credit. Um, let's try a £20 note. The note's a little bigger, I need to fold it to get into the bezel. So there you can see. Uh, you can see the, the byte there, which is 3. Uh, we've got £20 in escrow, and do you want to accept it? Yes or no? I'll uh, reject that, I'll say no. And there, it's rejected it, as you can see, it wasn't perfect. 
so that's what testing is all about. Um, you can see there's been aborted from escrow. Now there's a couple of bytes you received, uh, 120 and 121. Uh, 120 means it's busy, so as soon as you uh, put a note through the machine, it will give you this byte that says busy, and then when it's finished, it's not busy. So uh, it prevents you from talking to it if it's actually doing any functions. And here we've got byte 70, which means aborted from escrow. So try channel 5, or channel 5, sorry. No, uh, 5 pound note, which is channel 1. So 5 pound escrow, escrow, would you like to accept? So I'll accept that, yes. Goes into your box, which will normally be around here somewhere, where all your money is collected. Now you see now I got £15 credit. Um, I'll do a £20 note again. Uh, I told you it's a bit, a bit wider, so it must get stuck there. So you can't see the bezel front, so okay. We'll do a no to make sure it spits out again. So we can find that time. And let's accept it. Good. So that's basically the uh, the flow of functions and how it works. Um, I've got the bezel on the front here. Don't know if you can see there. Uh, yeah, you can. It's uh, it's illuminated. As you can see, that's illuminated. If I um, send a D, uh, which I programmed to disable it, lights gone off. E D. So you can give some visual represent. So you can give some visual representation if it's enabled or disabled. I know that sometimes the customer won't see that, or it wouldn't be very obvious, but it is at a glance if you're walking past the machine. Um, so here we have the software for the Arduino. And it's relatively straightforward, but I'll go through it line by line, just so you can follow it, and maybe modify it or change it to, to help with your project. Um, so the first thing I'm doing here is renaming Serial 3 Node Acceptor. It's, it's super handy, especially if you've got a mega with multiple serial ports. Instead of using Serial 1, 2, 3, uh, you just basically name whatever you want. So now I've named it here Node Acceptor. Um, here we've got a byte here called Node in escrow. If it's zero, there's nothing being held. And then you've got the channel values 1, 2, or 3, if there's something already in there. Credit, which is self-explanatory. And uh, the channel value, so channel 1 we 5, channel 2 10, channel 3 20. So into our setup function, which runs once, we'll begin the serial comms of the PC through USB at 9600 board rate. And the note acceptor, which is serial 3, we'll begin that at a board rate of 300, which is standard of the acceptor. And instead of um, 8N1, which is standard, for some reason they programmed it to, they programmed it to 8N2. Uh, so you need to tell Arduino what to be looking forward. So we've got eight data bits, no parity, and two stop bits. Here we're pulling pin 15 up for the RX pin, as the output of the acceptor is open collector. And then we'll write a couple of values here. So 184 is to enable all the channels, basically just turns it on. And 170, which enables the escrow mode. You can also disable it, and you don't have to use it at all. So basically the machine will take take the money and spit it straight through, read it and tell you what it is. So into the loop. Uh, so the first thing we do is if there's any bytes available in the buffer for the note acceptor, we'll read this byte into byte in and then we'll print it out under the serial monitor. Uh, these stars just just tidy up the program so when I've also got stuff I'm writing into the program, it, it just basically spits it up so I know what's coming out of the, the note acceptor. So here I'm only interested in bytes 1, 2 and 3. Um, we'll start from the beginning, so say if I put a 5 pound note which is channel 1, so I'll get a byte which is 1, so I'll enter this, excuse me, I'll enter this function here with a, a number 1. So there'll be no note in escrow, so that will be false, so we come to here. So we'll print a pound sign on whatever the value of the note is. So we'll get a byte number one, or minus one, which is zero. So channel value zero, 
here, this is the address of, the, of um, the channel value 0, so I'll pick a number 5. So it'll be a, a £5 in escrow, and accept yes or no. And then it makes note in escrow to bite in, which will be number 1. So next time round, it reads serial, it reads the serial port, this will become number 1. So it'll accept the escrow, add the credit, and then print out the credit and make the note in escrow 0, which means there's nothing in there. Byte in, so if byte in equals 70, this means you've sent a command which is no, and then it aborts it from the escrow. It basically spits the no to right up back up the front. Now here we're reading the serial port of the PC. So byte, byte in equals serial read. So we're reading the, the buffer. So if this byte in equals a capital Y, it's right to 172, which is which means yes. Accept the escrow. And if it's an N, capital N, then it's a no to reject it. Also, there's a couple of random ones here. So R to reset uh, the credit. E would be to enable it. I've uh, shown you there where the, light, the front bezel turns on and off. That's E and D. So I'm just writing these bytes to it. And that's simply uh, that's, that's all it is. It's, it's, it's straightforward. If you can if you can make this code and run it yourself. You'll be able to follow it quite easily and modify it to do whatever you want. Uh, one thing you, you do, do need to check is there is some bytes that come out, it, out of it for, for a stuck note or an error. So you need to improve the code by thinking of every possible scenario. You know, this, this code might work forever, but there might be one moment where you get a fault and the software carries on. So just got to be a little bit careful. But otherwise, um, that's the software. If your project needs the ability to accept notes, uh, chain machine, vendor machine, then these are perfect. But they're not exactly cheap. As I said, I think the, this one is £160 of um, innovative technology. Uh, as I said, just be careful not to get stung. The old ones on eBay, uh, they don't accept the new £5 notes or £10 notes. And I think they're, they're, they're discontinued now. So try and get yourself one of these. Uh, the price will come down eventually, but they're in high demand at the minute. So if you like this video guys, please like and subscribe. Um, next I'm going to do a, a coin acceptor. And I've also got a cooler project on running an oil burner on Arduino. I'll be coming up soon. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.